Good morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Well, we have quite the project on the go, actually. Just up about 5k from the house up the road here, so we might start the day. We'll head up there and uh, you'll see what's going on. Let's go. First things first, need a few fossilised dinosaur bones, hmm? Won't be going too far without them. What we got on the go up here at the moment is probably about four or five K of fence being redone. You can see the loader maybe out there in the background. He's up tearing out a bit of old fence. Uh, we got to go over this side of the hill, the other side of the hill. Then we've got to go along the road piece here, all the way up there. Uh, and then um, we're going to fence off across up this way as well. So. Yeah, that's sort of what's going on up here. I'm actually just busy um, taking out an old dam down there. We've got two dams here. They're basically side by side. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is really good um, soil right here. So we're going to make uh, this paddock behind us. We're going to extend that this way um, and have a little bit more arable land here, which will be really nice. So um, yeah, I actually dislocated my shoulder the other day about two days ago so I'm, I'm sort of on light duties I'm not mucking around down the shed I'm, I'm out here um, yeah sitting on the loader at the moment so we'll go down and we'll get stuck into it and yeah when I say I dislocated my shoulder the other day I did it good and proper it's uh, yeah I was laying on the ground for probably a good good 20 seconds with my shoulder out thinking mmm is this thing gonna go back in but fortunately or unfortunately for me is I've dislocated my shoulder about 20 times so it's nothing unusual I just got to give it a few days rest and yeah we'll be back into it but uh, this is the project at the moment taking out this old dam that way we'll be able to come along with the tractor and sow straight down this way. Uh, yeah, just little improvements. That's what it's all about, always moving forward. But uh, yeah, let's get stuck into this.
Oh, man. That's enough of that, I reckon, for now. The old Louis gong's just about rattled me to pieces. <laughs> but uh, it's almost lunchtime. I'm going to head home and get some lunch, and then uh, we've got a 45 ton load of fertilizer coming uh, straight after lunch. So I have to help him unload that, and then uh, yeah, we'll carry on from there. Now we are actually forecast to get a few showers of rain today, and I tell you what. Some rain would be really nice because it has virtually not rained here for three months. I think we had a little bit of rain in January, early January, but uh, nothing significant. I can already see a few showers of rain around the place, so I uh, hope it holds out so I can get that fertilizer unloaded because, uh, yeah, fertilizer and rain don't really mix very well. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, that was a quick lunch. I've got to hurry up and get over there and get this auger set up and everything. But uh, there's a few spots of rain around at the moment, hoping that it stays away. Starting to get a few drops of rain. Might have to hide the camera away, so. <laughs> While Craig's disconnecting his trailer, I thought probably should get in this bin and make sure it's clean before we go putting fertilizer in there because there's still a few beans in there. So, better jump in there quick. <sighs> Can you guys see me up there? On the second trailer now. I don't think we're gonna fit in here though. We might have to do another switcheroo onto the third bin. Craig's just hooking up to his trailer getting out of here. We just got finished loading the fur into the bins and it started to rain. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I got all this. I'm just gonna give this fur a quick scrape up before it gets all wet and sloppy and then we might get out of here and get into a bit of shelter somewhere. <laughs> well there's nothing more fun than uh, scraping up semi-wet fertilizer off the ground in the rain but uh whew. we're done now go find something else to fill in the day i guess starting to get late already good way to kill a day sitting on the loader and unloading fertilizer what are you guys doing see ya well, that's the scene of the crime, everybody. That's where I dislocated my shoulder. Might be pretty hard to believe, but yes. There I was laying on that stupid bit of cardboard with my shoulder out of socket for a good 20 seconds. And you might be saying to yourself, how the, how the hell did you do that, Henry, doing laying down there? Well, my shoulder is very, very, my shoulder socket is very, very loose these days. As I said, it's come out a few times. I was literally just had my arm up above my head like that, holding onto something, and I was leaning that way, leaning to my right, and out it came. Ooh, good times. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, we're finishing off for the day. 
Got a new hose here, just air seeder hose. Uh, it's got to connect on here and then curl around and go back to that head back there. Um, yeah, well apparently all these hoses when we're using a simplicity air seeder have to be the same length. Uh, the primary hoses to these to these heads here. I had to cut a couple of new lengths of hose and uh, we'll put that on and yeah, that might be about it for the day I think. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit limited at the moment with what I can do with my shoulder but I should be able to get this hose on alright. I just need an extra set of hands to hold this straight. It's just going to want to fold up on me. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Like a hot knife through butter. Damn thing. Ugh. It looks like it should be easy, but it's really not. Every time you try and move it, 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 it it's rubber. It just grips on something. Or... <sighs> That's all right. We'll get there. Bit of lube. We want to make it nice and slippery. Trust me, this hose does not go in well without, does not go on well without a bit of this stuff on there. It is just, it's like a, it's like a perfect fit over the pipe. So yeah, you don't even really need to use a clamp. Ugh. Come on. Alright. Bit more of the slippery stuff. You never have too much lube. There we go. She's on. This side went a bit easier than the other. What'd you bring me? What do you got? Finding things they shouldn't find. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's about all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've been a little bit frustrated lately because this tractor's still in pieces, but at the end of the day, um, you know, preceding, everything's coming along really, really well for that at the moment. We're really just held up by this tractor at the moment. We've got all of our fuel, our fertiliser, our seeds cleaned, everything's going along pretty well, so... A few frustrations felt from time to time, but you know, that's all part of it, isn't it? So, but uh, yes, that's it for today. Um, if you could like the video, share it with someone, that would be most appreciated. Um, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.